Hey, how's it going? Parker Welbeck here with FullTimeFilmmaker.com. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you my process for building a story on my timeline in Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so we finished chopping up or sifting through all of our clips. We have on our timeline now six minutes of what I would call usable footage. This is where the fun part starts, where we get to actually start building our story on the timeline. And the first step that I usually take when building a story is I like to bring in my music, decide what music I'm gonna use. And in this case, bring in the voiceover as well, because the voiceover is gonna kind of carry the story and help us decide which clips are gonna go where. Have our voiceover set, ready to go. Now we are going to bring in our music options. So I'll bring all of those in to the timeline here. I'm going to go through, listen to each song while watching the video and listening to the voiceover to see which one has the best vibe that I think complements both the voiceover and the visuals the best. So let's mute all of these and start with our first song. Welcome to the golf loft. Welcome to the golf loft. Okay, I'm thinking I like uh, our second option the best. Now, the next issue is this song is two and a half minutes and we need to make a one minute version of the song. Now, that is my song that I've now customized to be one minute long. We are now ready to start chopping through the footage and compiling a story to that voiceover and to that music. So our opening shot here is him walking into the golf loft. Then I'm gonna right click, apply default transition and give us crossfade to match the music. Welcome to the golf loft. And I think I'm gonna cut on that first beat. We'd cut potentially to maybe just a jump cut, him setting his clubs down perhaps. Loft, a two bay private golf simulating. Next he gets his glove on. Golf simulating experience located in South. Cut on that beat again, right as he grabs the club. And now he's trying cut on action. So you notice he's pulling the club. Let's cut on that action where possible. Again, cutting off of his back, coming into screen. Helps to be a little more seamless. Let's see how that looks. Located in South Jordan, Utah. Okay, now let's see how this shot works with it coming next. Leading Trackman 4s, that sport dual radar tech. When I say radar, I'm thinking I want a shot of the actual radar such as total yardage, carry yardage. So we have a little discrepancy. The music has just hit the big beat where I wanted the first swing to be, but our footage isn't quite ready for that yet. So we might need to speed up some part of this here. And I'm thinking we just need to shorten this clip here. This is what's kind of dragging us out too long. Part of matching to the music and the pacing is sometimes adding a speed ramp here and there to kind of make clips go a little bit quicker, but still cut on the spots we want them. So for example, this shot here, Get it in South Jordan, Utah. Equip, let's speed ramp this clip clip out and then speed ramp into this clip. And we do that by clicking on this, coming up to effect control, time remap, select the keyframe points. And we're gonna extend this out separate from the audio. And then we're gonna raise this up 200% and then slowly have that come in, maybe 250%, a little bit quicker. There we go, until it matches on that cut. I'll see how that looks. South Jordan, Utah. Equipped with it. Looks a little funny. I think it starts a little too soon. So let's push that back a bit. That might be better. And then do the same thing on this end. So again, put our keyframe and then the rest of this, we're gonna speed up to the same speed. Again, just ramp that down. Utah. Equipped with industry leading. And let's try and cut to this guy, see how that looks. In South Jordan, Utah. Equipped with industry leading TrackMan 4s that sport dual radar technology for. So that's not my favorite cut so far, going from this screen to there. Maybe if we include some movement. So this is another way to help things cut a little bit better. We're gonna do a digital zoom here. And if you've already done time remapping, you can't do digital zoom and time remapping on the same clip. So you're gonna have to nest it first by clicking N and then grabbing position and scale keyframe sliding those over far right, zooming in to where you want the clip to end. Equipped with industry leading track. We'll do the same thing to this. I'm just gonna copy and paste. We'll do motion and that will give me the same amount of zoom in and maybe again on this clip. Okay, so let's see how we're looking so far. South Jordan, Utah. Equipped with industry leading TrackMan 4s that sport dual radar technology for increase. So maybe we do a clip of this one where I see the golfer in the background prepping to shoot. Let's see potentially if that one would work well there. Same thing, we're going to give it some nice motion. Let's try this now. Industry leading TrackMan 4s that sport dual radar technology for him. and let's get ourselves a swing so go ahead and chop that there so let's try this clip in here see how she looks 
technology for incredibly accurate club and ball depth. I have tons of shots of him swinging. I may use a different one here. All right, so we found another clip that we might like better. Technology for incredibly accurate club and ball data, such as could also do a similar zoom here for incredibly accurate club and ball data. And for the sake of time, we'll fast forward through building out the rest of the story. But basically, I'm just listening to what the voiceover is saying and finding visuals to match and then cutting to the beat of the music and adding speed ramps or digital zooms where they help the edit flow together more seamlessly. And then final part of the vid is going to be a golf loft logo. So let's throw in the logo at the end up or schedule a free one hour session today. We'll see you there. So there you have my creative process for building out a story on the timeline. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out other Premiere Pro tutorials in this playlist. Link is in the description below.